What's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. Before I even jump into this video, man, I want to start this one off a little bit different by sending that positive energy and encouragement out to all my supporters out there that's been rocking with me, man. This goes for the new supporters, the old supporters, and even the ones who don't even come and just hit the like button. Man, hey, look, I hope you're having a good day out there. I hope that everything is going y'all way during y'all day. And if everything ain't going good for you right now, just don't give up. Stay motivated. Stay encouraged. And I promise you it's going to get greater later. Just don't give up. Stay fighting for whatever you want, and it will happen for you. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and get to the whole story that's right here in front of us right now. So basically, man, it's a lady by the name of Trina Daniels, and she was, you know, taken advantage of by her own biological son. Yes, her own son that she gave birth to it's just crazy as hell you feel me and before we move forward i want to send her some love and i want to send my condolences out to her as well because i know this got to be very traumatizing to have to go through this with your own biological child that you raised you know what i'm saying but basically long story short trina daniels has a son by the name of melvin o'neill he's 30 years old and he has a pretty lengthy history of doing crazy things like this that's what's so crazy about it but uh yeah man you know basically long story short he's incarcerated right now for actually taking advantage of his own mother and basically she went to social media to explain what took place with her and i mean if you see her face and how he did her man you would wish that he got taken care of right now he really did the fool in that bathroom with his own mother man this is crazy but i'm gonna go ahead and read what she put on social media so y'all can get a good idea of what took place so basically she put on the internet on saturday january 7th 2023 my 30 year old son Melvin O'Neill visited my home at 8:30 a.m. we laughed talked they argued then my son yes my son that I gave birth to lured me to the bathroom then he put his hands on her you know he also took advantage of her you all know what I mean when I say what I say and y'all can read it right there as well and then the mother continues saying that I trusted that my son would never do that to me or anyone my family has been very supportive visiting me in the hospital every day and it definitely helps with my emotional pain now Melvin is in jail and he's facing life for what he did to his own biological mother and what's so crazy about this whole situation man the mother actually took up for her son doing this to somebody else not too long ago. You know, she was basically just saying that her son wouldn't do anybody like that. He was under attack and he actually took advantage of another person. Now, if that didn't give her a better idea of her son, nothing else will. You feel me? For him to actually do it to her, that's the clearest sign that she could ever need. But, you know, she was just being a stand-up mother like you're supposed to be. Being there for your child like a lot of mothers don't do for their children these days. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, man, you know, for him to actually take his mom in there and put his hands on her the way that he did is very, very disturbing, man. You know, like I always say, we fighting a spiritual warfare. And a lot of people say that as well. But, you know, I'm really, really believing that because the things that run across me daily is just crazy you know it's so much stuff you get kind of numb to it but if you got a heart you will never be fully completely numb to these situations the mother is fighting you know trying to get better trying to get well and things like that from what i've seen it's gonna take a long time for that to actually happen he did the most that i've seen done to a person in a long time that boy has a lot of demons that he's fighting and nothing really will help him you know what i'm saying and um you know this happened in virginia i forgot to mention that as well so if you're from down there and you heard about this story let us know more details about it but uh yeah man you know he actually did this to another young lady which is very very strange that he didn't get a lot of time for that because i mean the way that he's doing people man he's out of there but I got a couple of pictures of the mom and him, you know, and she was very, very happy to be around her son. You can tell that she was a very good mother. Well, she is one. I'm talking about she was. But um, as far as him, you know, another crazy thing about it, man, he's on bail for these type of situations right here. He just going through a lot of shit mentally, man. You know, I'm not making no justifications for what he did because he's capable of understanding, you know. But um, things like this, man, just opens up my eyes to so many different things. You feel me? Like how... People ignore certain things when they actually have proof of it in so many different ways. You know, what's so crazy about the whole situation, man, he was out on bun. So you out on bun, you acting crazy, and you doing these type of things to your mother, man, he's a menace. He would do this to anybody. That's just how I feel about it, just my opinion. Hey, y'all can get mad at me how y'all want to, but hey, it is what it is. That boy is not right. He ain't right at all. That mother, I'm pretty sure she was screaming, hollering, hurting, and everything. And that boy just kept doing what he was doing. It's just so hard to imagine somebody doing it to their own biological mother, man, you know. And, I mean, I was looking for more reports about it online and things like that, but I couldn't find nothing at all, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking now to see if anything else pop up, but it ain't nothing else that popped up about the whole situation. She was actually fighting for him, man. You know, she went to the Internet, asked for prayer and everything. You can tell that she's a very stand-up 
nice woman, you know? And mm-hmm. it said that you got to be out here dealing with certain things like this with your own children, man. Now, look, I'm going to give y'all some more updates about this whole situation if I get more about it. But as of now, there's really nothing out there. It's just a, a sad situation, man. I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section about this situation right here. Mm-hmm. But that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. And that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man.